composite material used in the space age, very new, relatively new, and very expensive as well, but the combination gets the job done even better than before. The aircraft was actually developed in response to some Warsaw Pact or communist uh, Cold War helicopters being developed by the Russians. And uh, because of the advancements in the technology that we have here in America, it can operate in bad weather at longer distances. And it is an amazing helicopter being able to fly faster than the competitors like the Mi-24 Hind helicopter, 182 miles mile per hour top speed. At least that's what my particular <laughs> reference book says, and I know we'll discuss that a lot. Let's say it's about three miles a minute. It took the ability <laughs> to fly up to, under certain weights, up to 21,000 feet. And the armament, they have a 113 millimeter gun. I'm yeah. glad I'm a good guy and not a bad guy. <laughs> You know, that is pretty amazing when you talk about the Sidewinder missile because this looks like it's an air-to-ground attack helicopter, but the Sidewinder missile's air-to-air. -air. Now, that, that helmet-mounted sight that we talked about, the, the, the crew member has a very, very... As Rob mentioned to you, with the enhancement of greater instruments, now able to operate day and night, in adverse weather using avionics and electronics such as the target acquisition and designation system, the pilot night vision system, and the global positioning system, and the integrated helmet and display sight system. That package... And of course, as I mentioned, the United Kingdom here in the U.S. system for that three-barrel chain gun. It carries 1,200 rounds of ammunition and, run and can shoot at 625 rounds per minute. In addition to that, the rockets are Hydra 70 rockets, and the missile combination are a combination of Hellfire, Stinger, and Sidewinder missiles, and again launched from those two pylons on either side of the fuselage, directly below... 